Today we're checking out VR treadmills that are either currently on the market or under development. These devices add locomotion to the VR experience designed to increase immersion. Let's check them out. Catwalk is a new omnidirectional treadmill input device. The main problem Catwalk solves is to move within a small space in reality and achieve limitless and continuous movement in virtual reality. With its built-in and wearable sensors, you can literally walk, run, backwards, jump, crouch, and sit in the virtual world. Different games call for different movements. Catwalk allows you to switch actions anytime you want. You can even sit down to drive or fly when a game requires it. We started the project since 2013, and we have made quite a bit of prototypes. During developing and testing, we noticed that in many games, you want to perform different actions with your arms and legs. It was annoying and disappointing if these movements are constrained. And while in a virtual world, you can't see the real one. If there are devices near your arms and legs, you may hit something or get hurt. The Creative Catwalk independent support structure and open construction sets your arms and legs free. First, it is very easy to get in. Without a ring or column surrounding you, you can move freely and securely without constraint or worry about hitting anything. You can swing your arms naturally or put your hands to rest down by your sides, getting closer to a natural walk posture. Catwalk has not just simply removed the column and the ring. Our unique design can limit the horizontal moving range and control the vertical movement function while walking and running. It can automatically provide 35 cm vertical moving range while jumping, crouching, and sitting. Meanwhile, it can help users move back to center to adjust the position offset while walking, which can increase the sense of balance and safety. When we walk in real life, friction is what propels us forward. Frictionless walking is awkward, like walking on ice, if you must pay attention to keep balance. Catwalk uses high friction material surface and uses a constant force of rolling friction to simulate real walking forces and human motion. This makes you feel like you are walking on real ground instead of sliding walk. With normal friction, it is easier to keep balance and it will decrease the time it takes anyone to learn to use Catwalk. Catwalk uses a lower cambered base to transfer potential energy to kinetic energy and to reproduce the movement locus. All of this is to achieve a more natural feeling of walking. You can use it to enjoy relaxing virtual reality games or applications in a comfortable way. Just sit back and relax. Our software can transfer body motion to keyboard or gamepad. This means all the games with keyboard or gamepad support will be playable. We are also developing our own SDK and demo to achieve analog movement and independent walking and looking direction. The prototype you see here is kind of big. This was made to prove our brand new solution. We already have all the plans to make it smaller and lighter. Great to see everyone here, and thanks for uh, thanks for coming to our office. It's a big week for us. This week we delivered the first Omni. It's kind of where games have always been trying to take you. They always talk about immersion and trying to actually put you in the game. Well, you can't just do that with only a console and a controller and a TV. It is immersive, but yet you know you're still sitting on a couch hopping on something like the Omni, where it just it puts you in the game and you it's like you're suited up to get into the battle. I have an extremely bad problem motivating myself to do exercise. Yeah, I broke a sweat in like that short amount of time. Maybe it's because you get the heat turned up in here, I don't know. Getting to enjoy that physical interaction of running and moving and looking and not feel so detached from the world that you're playing in. It's night and day. I have told people for years, if I could walk across Skyrim, I'd be more fit. And this is exactly that, that machine. I was like, oh my god, somebody actually made that thing. 
I mean, I'm not much of a shooter. I just want to go explore a world, go running in, you know, a world full of dragons and magicians and whatever. The biggest thing right off the bat is the lack of sickness. So far, all of my experiences with seated VR, like I have motion sickness stuff, and I had none of that here. What I loved about it is you're actually playing with people. The last demo I tried was single player, and you kind of walk through this uh, corridor, whereas this one was a little bit more wild because I had a partner there right next with me. When the bad guys get close to you, you instinctively, like, you move your body away from them. You react. My head moved and it moved and my whole body went with it and it was cool. I could have this in my living room with my rock band equipment and I think that's really exciting. The virtualizer consists uh, of three main parts. Okay. Uh, the base plate with the low friction surface, uh, the pillars and the ring construction. There are linear guides in the pillars mm -hmm. that allow for smooth and quiet vertical movements. This is necessary for crouching and jumping. And in addition to that, the ring construction allows the user to turn around and rotate 360 degrees. We felt that rotating inside of the second prototype wasn't as smooth as we wanted it to be. So we decided to improve the mechanism of the ring construction. Furthermore, we also refined the sensor system that detects the rotation of the user. We've also changed the linear guide system inside the pillars, which is now smoother, more quiet and more durable. On top of that, the new system is lighter than the previous one, so we have saved some weight. Okay. Um, another major improvement is the material that we use now on the base plate. For us it is very important to have natural walking and running inside the device. So the friction coefficient is now on a level which is ideal for natural movements. Um, when we started developing the virtualizer, we made some experiments with different shapes and also made a motion analysis in the laboratory. And we've also uh, tested the different shapes in action. And we've realized that the flat base delivers the best immersion. Now if you use uh, a bowl shape, your feet would touch the slope of the bowl earlier than you would expect, creating a discrepancy between what you see and what you feel. And this breaks immersion and pulls you back into, the, into reality. Stability is very important for us, so we decided to use three pillars instead of two or just one. The reason is that three pillars absorb the forces and the momentum caused by the user mm -hmm. better than two or just one pillar. Okay. And since you're able to sit down in the virtualizer, uh, we have to make sure that the construction supports the user's weight. Um, speaking of the sitting function, obviously you have to be fixated inside the ring um, to perform moves like uh, jumping and crouching and also of course to sit down. Does the user have to carry all the weight of the ring construction as well while he does so or do you have a solution for that as well? Um, we have a special construction in the pillars, in the linear guides, okay. which compensates the whole weight of the ring construction, so the user doesn't have to carry the weight and doesn't feel anything of the ring construction. Okay, so one thing you notice about the new prototype is that you've constructed a black bar, which is hanging above your head now. Could you maybe explain the reason for it being there? Sure, yes, we call this black bar V-arm and it is constructed because of head-mounted displays and earphones which are wired. Okay. So you can guide the cables over your head and don't get disturbed in the virtual world. Okay. And it is designed that way that you can still aim upwards without tossing against it. I see, so it's for completely unrestricted movement. Absolutely. Okay, I see. Okay, Nunja, I think that's enough for now. Thank you for taking your time off to show us the virtualizer. You're welcome. Welcome to Infinidec a true omnidirectional treadmill. Infinidec uses motorized components and a simple belt connected to a sensor to track and respond to your movements in real time. Infinidec's belt has multiple bands that change direction, allowing you to go in any direction at your own pace, freeing you to explore your virtual reality environment naturally and safely. Infinidec revolutionizes virtual reality movement, giving you the ability to quickly change pace, stop and go, crouch and pivot, providing a truly immersive experience 
With our technology, you can feel like part of your favorite game or jog through exotic countryside while at the gym. Infinidec makes the future possible today. Imagine training simulations that prepare you for urban warfare, let you practice tactics on foreign terrain, or even walk beneath the stars of another world. Infinidec's omnidirectional treadmill technology makes it possible for you to be fully engaged in the VR world while keeping you safely in the center of the treadmill. There is no limit to where you can go. Thank you. 